Lately, I feel like there's been more of a focus on our differences and the things that divide us than the things that actually bond us. Whether it's politics, religion, or whatever the latest social media du jour may be. But there is one thing that we all have in common. Time. We're all given the same 24 hours, multiply that by 7 days a week, times 52 weeks in a year. And within that, what distinguishes us from one another is how we choose to fill that time. And just how many of those days, weeks, years we're given is, of course, the big mystery. Some of us may live to be 100. There are those of us that may tragically leave before being able to attend the senior prom. Heroes among us or abroad who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Couples waiting to be reunited one day. With that amount of uncertainty with our expiration date above ground, you would think that what's really important to us would supplant the trivial. That we would live with intention, caring only about the things that really truly matter. Or at the very least, to settle and compromise less in life. Whether it's in work, love, or truly living out your dream. This past year, this was precisely what I set out to do. I want to dispense one practical advice that I've learned about myself in this past year, and that's to always choose the window seat. For me, I'll never grow tired of seeing the earth from that perspective. The clouds, the mountains, the sea. I always choose to win the sea when I can. And really the day I stop staring out in wonderment and in awe is the day that I'll know that that childlike quality in me is gone. When it came to filmmaking, I was really fortunate enough to be able to share the stories of some of the luminaries of our sport. From the forward-thinking entrepreneur balancing life as an athlete, business owner, and family man. The greats of recent past looking to reignite the flame and work their way back up to the top of the mountain. The legends of our sport who need not prove a single thing more. and the up-and-comers looking to leave their indelible mark in the world. My personal adventures also took me to some really great places. Halfway around the world in Europe, to the mountains of Alaska, and a dream race realized even when it appeared that I would not be able to take one more step. The energy here is crazy. Everywhere you look, there's somebody you know, there's somebody you kind of know, there's somebody you know from reading magazines. I'm so excited to have all my friends and crew. It's just an awesome feeling. I can't wait to start. This race taught me that even when all seems hopeless, there's always still something left in the reserve. Sometimes, you just have to dig a little harder to find it. This year was also about helping friends reach and realize their dreams. After a bad stomach forced him to throb last year at mile 75 of the 2014 Annals Press 100, my good buddy David had the support of the entire crew this year. Just excited to do this with all of you. Thank you, guys. You have a great day. Love you.
Good luck. His dream became our dream, and he ended up having a great day. It hurt like any stick or stone. Now there's bodies in your home. Bodies walking in your home. And broken hearts still be. And broken hearts still be. And broken hearts still be. I'll conclude with this final thought for the upcoming year. Surround yourself with good people. Friends who make you laugh. Those who will support and help you achieve your dreams without expecting anything in return. People with great stories. People that inspire you. In 2016, I strongly encourage you to lead a life that will inspire others, to really be courageous and to take that leap forward. Truly realize and accept that our time on Earth is temporary, and remember to bring some good friends along for the ride. Again, in our own words. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel down in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life?